Hey, this is Anthony with RevZilla TV. And in this video, we're going to break down a brand new helmet from Bell for 2011. This is called the RS1. This is Bell's direct competitor for the extremely popular Shoei RF 1100 helmet. So what they've basically done is filled in the gap between the Bell Star, which is a pro-level race helmet, and the Vortex, which is the Snell 2010 entry-level guy that starts at about 179 bucks. Pricing on this guy is going to start for solids at $349, and this is the, the shattered graphic that I have in front of me. Graphics are around $400, $399. The first thing that you need to know to where this is really going to stack up in the, in the range of helmets that we're offering for this year is this is going to be the aggressive sport rider, racer, track day enthusiast's key helmet. At $349, you're not paying for some of the World Superbike GP level um, carbon fiber elements that you are here on the star. What you're getting is the best of the functionality without going for some of that extraneous functionality that you end up just adding a lot of cost to the helmet. So I'm saying this is my call for the everyday rider, the aggressive rider, this is going to be the helmet you're going to home in on. I do want to note that it's lighter. It comes in at three pounds, eight ounces, where something um, like the Showy RF 1100 is going to be in that three pounds, nine and a half ounces range, which is, uh, you know, it's a nice weight savings there. And this guy's actually also going to be lighter than the Star. And they did that. They actually used less carbon fiber on this guy. It's the Trive Weave matrix for the uh, shell design, so it's going to be Kevlar, carbon fiber, and fiberglass. They use less carbon fiber on this guy, but through little things, minor changes through the R&D. Now, the star has been around for five years, so they've really learned what worked and what didn't, and something like this, to where on the star, it's going to be an aluminum piece, and here it's going to be thermoplastic. Just incremental weight savings throughout this guy in a lot of the components. Don't, they, they don't give way to anything on the safety side, but they give you better Wait, you're going to be, and remember, if you're on the track, if you're doing track days, if you're riding long distances, you have to think about the focus. If a helmet's too heavy or it's out of balance, or if you're carrying, a, if it's whistling, these are all things that take your attention off the road, and when you do that, that's when accidents happen. You want to forget you're wearing a helmet, whether you're wearing it for 15 minutes or you're wearing it for three hours. Now, if we start here and we look at the shape of this guy, and you can see I have this vortex on the left and I have the star on the right, the shape is going to be an intermediate oval head shape. So front to back, this is going to fit very similar to something like a, uh, like a Shoei RF1100. I will note, though, it's more of a race fit. This is going to be more snug than the Snar, it's Star. It's more snug than the Vortex. It's an intermediate oval. They actually redesigned the fit. The RS1 has the same fit as the Moto9. They're the two brand new helmets from Bell for this year, and the fit is totally different. It, uh, my only gripe, I've been wearing, this is, this is not my Star, but I do, this is the rally color scheme. I wear one myself. My only gripe was at 130 plus on the track, I would start to get buffeting. I would start to feel like the helmet was moving around on me only because um, the fit with my long oval, it left me a little extra room. I don't have the ideal head shape. What they've done with the, Vor or with the RS1 rather, they've changed the internal fit. It's more ergonomic and it's gonna be more snug for different types of riders' heads. So it's, it's definitely an improvement. Other noteworthy features, it uses the same shell or the same shield as the Star, as the Vortex. So big thing, everybody loves Bell for the last couple of years, they came out with a photochromic shield. That's solar flex technology, meaning when you hit the sunlight, the UV rays tell the shield to change from clear to dark tint. It's the same transitions lens technology you see on high-end eyeglasses. This shell will take the same shield shape. So if you've already bought it, it's not a cheap investment, you can interchange your shield. So if you're going up from a vortex and you have a, uh, an iridium shield and a tint shield, you can swap them right over and vice versa with the, the star on the way down. If we look at it, let's get into some of the nuances of this guy. So here's your shield, some strong detents, three positioning, lock, we have locked, we have open, and then we have cracked for, de for extra defogging to get some airflow. You can see there's this crack down here on the front. You're gonna have a two position Open and close here on the chin, it vents to the face and to the inside of the face shield. Moving up to the top, this is a new vent configuration on this guy. This will ventilate better than any of the entire Bell lineup. They Bell in the States here, in North America, has not only a wind tunnel, but they have a water tunnel. So what they do is they test this, not only air, but fluid. It's easier to see where you're losing efficiency. This vent configuration outperforms the star and outperforms the vortex. It's an open and close and vents directly to the head. Moving back around, four passive vents, Venturi effect here. So high speed air coming over a sphere creates a vacuum behind the head. Not only is it wanna, going to want to pull your head up, but it's going to be 
actively sucking air out through these vents. Two on the back here, and you have the fuser along the bottom, and then at the, at the, uh, the back exhaust as well. So it pulls that warm, moist air off of your head. I do want to notice, I want you to come in here tight. I'm going to put these guys kind of back to back. The thing, you know, I talked about some of the difference here. With the Star, this is a slightly, slightly less aggressive shape. So it's slightly more truncated in the back. You still have a full wing that does have an angular bend to it, just like this guy. But this is going to be more, this, this helmet's actually going to be more comfortable and aerodynamic in a three-quarter riding position as well as the tuck, whereas this guy's really, really built for track day racing tuck type riding. Let's go back to the shield. I want to tell you, show you how easily, if you've never owned a Bell before, this is one of my favorite things. They have one of the easiest shield change mechanisms in the business. You pull it up, you pop it there, and you pop it on the back. Two triggers, the shield comes right off. To reinstall it, you align it with the top and you snap it in. It's really that simple. There aren't, there's definitely some brands of helmets where changing the shield during a video that's one continuous take is rolling the dice, not with Bell. Super easy. I could have, I've changed that shield now, what, it was at under five seconds? It's that quick, that easy. Other features, let's start walking through the guts on this bad boy. You know, we talked about the anti-fog coating, we talked about some of the other things. Shape of this guy, it's going to be that intermediate oval. I said, notice the guts on it. It's got a new antimicrobial, it's, it's their Coolmax or their, uh, their, Hydrogy 2 type lining. Um, it's their proprietary wicking micro fleece antimicrobial. It's a step up from the star, and everything's removable here. So I'm going to show you here. We have the Magnafusion, which is a magnet on the end of here. It goes through the double D ring. It's going to go, and it would come right back, and it would connect to this, so it's not going to move around while you're riding. So moving on further into the inside of this guy, you do have a chin curtain that it comes with. A lot of high-end race style helmets come with chin curtains. What I like about this is there's no Velcro. It's three snaps. I don't like Velcro near my face. Personal preference, call me a snob. I ride in a lot of different helmets. I find when there's no Velcro, it's, it just, I don't like feeling like my face is gonna catch on anything, whether the pieces are in or out. So again, microfiber towards the inside, three snaps, chin curtain comes right out. Moving on to the cheek pads. Everything's removable, everything's washable. It goes with their new system here. So moving on to the cheek pads, I'm gonna pull a cheek pad out for you really quickly. Actually, in this one, we pulled a shattered because we wanted to show it, but I left the tags on it. So notice, here's your cheek pad. One of the things that's unique about Bell is notice this webbing. You say, well, there's webbing there. Why do I need webbing? Well, other cheek pads just have a space. The reason is, is that this Bell helmet has a cutout for a third-party speaker for a Bluetooth communicator. So whether it's a Cardo, a Cena, a Chatterbox, you're gonna have an ample cutout so that when you put that speaker in, it's not gonna press any further on your ear. You have room to put it in. I do also wanna show that both the sleeves that go around the neck strap are removable as well. They have a strap on them, they come out. Again, micro fleece wicking, it's gonna allow you to wash them. Nothing's more frustrating than especially spending a day on the track in between, in between sessions or a long ride in the heat, getting really gunkified, pulling over it, not being able to pull everything out and clean it. So I always recommend people, I say, if you're not, if, if you're not gonna take five minutes and run your stuff under warm water, you're definitely missing out, or cool water rather. And then this guy comes out from across the front here. It's similar to how the star worked. It's the mechanism from Bell, kind of pops right out. So there is my brow vent. And you can notice here on this guy, what they've done is you can see the inside of this. It's wicking. It has nice big slots for airflow. But there's a minimization of seams. Whenever you have less seams, you have less areas that are going to create something that might feel funny against your head. So it aids in the new style fit, but it also, it's a new encapsulation technique. This is the next generation liner from Bell. I'm going to pull this other cheek pad here real quickly. And then I'm going to show you the inside guts of this guy. Again, you'll see, you'll see vents in the forward, in the back. There's where your chimneys come in and where your venturi suck out. So again, it comes in a handful of colors. It comes in a handful of graphics for right now. This is called the Shattered. Bang for the buck, I think it's one of the best sub $400 race Snell 2010 positioned sport helmets on the market. It's gonna be light, it's gonna flow a ton of air, it's gonna be an, a different fit configuration than any of the Bells except for the, the Moto 9. Bells come back on strong in the last decade in a big way in the States, and every few years when they start to release new helmets, it's always improving on what they've done. They do a lot of their R&D here in the States, and that's one of the reasons that they progress so fast compared to some of the other manufa manufacturers. 
you have any questions, this is a lot of helmet. It's a big investment. It's meant to last you many seasons. Call us. 877-792-9455 or cs at revzilla.com. You can always um, count on us shipping anything over 39 bucks for free. You can also always count on us doing free size exchanges. If you get the wrong size, fire it back to us. We'll send you the next size at no charge, free shipping as well. There's never a restock fee with revzilla.com. So if you get it, you don't like it, you send it back to us, no restocks, 100% back to your card, no questions asked. And that's on a regular product or on a closeout merchandise. And then as always, anything over 100 bucks, you can earn Teamzilla cash to be applied to your next order, especially for you track day guys. It's an expensive sport, helmet, jacket, gloves, boots, race suit. You're gonna be spending money and then consumables after that to get to the track, tires every weekend. If you're buying from us, you're saving some money by applying money to your next order with every order that you do place. Thanks for watching Revzilla TV today. Again, this is the groundbreaking, brand new for 2011 Bell RS1 race grade helmet, available at revzilla.com slash bell-helmets. I'm Anthony, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.